Hey guys, me, Mr. Casual, and in this video, we're going to be reading an article on MMANews.com of how former UFC fighter Carl Robertson um, committed a burglary and he got caught with crack cocaine, marijuana, and a gun in his car. And his car was actually linked to the burglary. And we have, but before we get into it, 95% of you guys are not subscribed. If you guys could please subscribe to my channel to help support it, I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you for all the subscribers. All right, so let's get right into it. Okay, MMANews.com. Title says UFC's Carl Robertson. Apparently arrested with marijuana, crack cocaine in connection with a robbery. Okay, Robertson was apparently taken into custody by the Howell Police Department in connection in um to a December robbery. All right, let's continue. It would appear that former UFC light heavyweight Carl Robertson has been arrested. He is one of two suspects being connected to a robbery in late 2022. Robertson is a Dana White's Contender Series alumni and former UFC fighter currently riding a four-fight losing streak each of the four being a finish. He was released by the promotion in July of 2022 after being stopped with elbows against Kennedy Nushchukwu. Yeah. Um, you know, he fought Vittori before and he fought Glover. You know, here's his record. Look, let me show you. Four or five losing streaks. He lost to Vittori. He lost to Glover and you know, lost a bunch of people. So let's continue. Okay. Carl Robertson arrested and facing multiple charges. Unfortunately for Carl Robertson, it would appear that um, things have continued trending in a negative way, as it was reported that he was apparently arrested by Howell, Howell Township Police in New Jersey. According to a statement from the police department's Facebook page, he was taken into custody in a connection to a robbery from December 26, 2022, in which $200,000 worth of exotic jewelry and other items were allegedly stolen. So $200,000 the day after Christmas, um were stolen he was one of two people which is fucking crazy you know okay the statement revealed that robertson was stopped by authorities while in a vehicle that was allegedly tied to the crime further search of the car after his arrest allegedly turned up a gun that had been tampered with as well as a marijuana and as well as marijuana and crack cocaine so he, the car was linked to the burglary and then his car got stopped and there was, there was a gun on, in, in the car and marijuana and crack cocaine crazy right Continue. Paul Robertson, um, 32 male Neptune, was arrested during a motor vehicle stop in Neptune. He was driving a vehicle that investigate that investigation revealed had been connected to the burglary. Following his arrest, a search warrant was con conducted on the vehicle. During the search, officers found a defaced 9mm handgun with an extended magazine, several packages of suspected crack cocaine and marijuana items and related to the burglary. Robertson was charged with burglary, theft, criminal mischief. Uh, possession of controlled dangerous substance and several weapons offenses the report said, reads he is completely fucked like i'm I'm sorry bro burglary crack cocaine marijuana whatever that's nothing and a gun that is crazy and it's, and it's a modified gun right like the, with the with the clip and the, the I think that's what it meant by the face it means a modified which gives you even more years right i heard some places that like a modified gun can give you 10 more extra years just for it being modified and with an extended clip in new jersey is crazy you know like i don't know no, New York laws are crazy. I don't know about New Jersey, but New Jersey is right next to New York. So I don't know. Okay, let's read now. Let's read the Howell Township Police Department, right? They're with their Facebook message. Um, please see press release regarding a burglary occurred on, on December 26th. The incident received a lot of attention as the proceeds were over two hundred thousand dollars in jewelry and valuables. The suspects were also captured on home security video, which also went viral on social media in the end. It was a diligent detective work headed by Detective Ryan Jackson with the assistance of D Detective Anthony Romano, which led to the um, apprehension of those responsible. This investigation came to a successful conclusion due to the collaborative, collaborative efforts of the Howell Township Police Detective Bureau um, and the Monmouth um, County Prosecutor's Office Assistance prosecutors and detectives great job by all involved um chief sorrow so now we're going to read the arrest made in like the um little report okay okay resident residential burglary on west farm road on december 26 2022 proceeds over 200k and jewelry and valuables okay on december 20 um um december 26 2022 officers responded to a resident a residence on west farms road on the report that a burglary had occurred there preliminary investigations revealed that entry was made to the residence by um forcing a rear door open one inside the suspects moved throughout the interior eventually making their way to the master bedroom the suspects located and stole over two hundred thousand dollars in exotic jewelry and valuables the suspects were captured on home security surveillance cameras both inside and outside the home the suspects were observed to be wearing um face masks, gloves, and conceal their identities to conceal their uh, to conceal their identities. The video was widely circulated on social media, and the homeowner offered a reward 
for information that led to the um so let's say arrest and the conviction of the suspects so they broke into somebody's house obviously a, a rich person's house they sold 200k they were wearing masks and all that they drove there and, you know it's fucking crazy and they stole two hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry and some other stuff you know wow and then they, they linked the car to the burglary and they searched the car had crack cocaine weed and a gun bro he's just yo he is so fucked it's a lot of charges bro and they're all serious as fuck Powell Police Detective Ryan Jackson was assigned as a lead detective to investigate the incidents. He, along with Detective Anthony Romano, conducted a comprehensive investigation utilizing advanced training and technical applications and analysis of cellular data to develop multiple suspects. After further investigation, confirmed the identities of suspects, arrest, ser- arrest and search. So I'm guessing, so they're saying um, an investigation utilizing advanced training and technical applications and analysis of cellular data. So what, like something in their cell phone, text messages, or they... You know how they, they pinpoint your if you use your cell phone in the area, they, they they could pinpoint whose cell phone was there at a certain time, specific place, they can like narrow it down. And maybe they check the, the text messages and then that's how they got caught. So basically they got caught because of their cell phone, I guess. Because their cell phone was on, they they can pinpoint whose cell phone was on in that specific area, that specific time, and boom, they got caught, or maybe text messages at the same time. I don't know. They didn't release like all the data yet, all the information yet, but this is like what I'm guessing. Because how else would you like capture people with their cell phone? You know, I don't. Th- I don't think they left their cell phone at the at, at the crime scene. You know, so if they didn't leave their cell phone at the crime scene. That means they like they pinpointed whose cell phone was on at that exact time moment, and, and then they checked the text messages. Maybe they got a warrant or something. We don't know yet. You know, let's continue. Burglary, theft, and criminal mischief. The second suspect, Carl Robertson, thirty-two, um, male Neptune, was arrested during a motor vehicle stop in Neptune. He was driving a vehicle that investigations revealed had been. Connected to the burglary. Following his arrest, a search warrant was conducted on the vehicle. During the search, officers found a defaced, which I think it means also like modified or like changed up, 9mm handgun with an extended magazine, which is like obviously it's had more bullets to the magazine of the gun. Extended magazine, you know, several packages of sus- um, suspected crack cocaine. So maybe that's that else to distribute. Or maybe, you know what I mean? Because usually if you have several packages, like, like along it, it's distribution. I think it's like more than 10 or something like that. I'm not really sure about the law, but like, I think that's, you know. Marijuana and items related to the burglary. Robertson was charged with burglary, theft, criminal mischief, possession of control. Look at all the charges. Look at this. Look at this. Charged with burglary, theft, criminal mischief, possession of controlled substances, and several weapons offenses. Holy shit, bro. Just the weapon offenses, you're like fucked. Burglary. Crack cocaine. Gun, bro. Oh my god, bro. Gun and burglary with crack cocaine. Bro. That's crazy. He better have like the best lawyer in the world, bro. Because even then. I, well, holy shit. The successful conclusion of this investigation was the result of the collaboration between several um how police detectives and our partners in the um Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office led by Detective Ryan Jackson. Further information, etc. Cetera, et cetera. NMA News attempted to contact the Howell Township Police Department for further comment on their arrest, but received no response at the time of of, the, of this writing. Stay tuned for more updates as the story develops. So obviously they're still getting information. Um, we're gonna know even more details as time goes on, but holy shit, that is so crazy, right? See, like, I'm not trying to defend a UFC fighter for doing this, but like, it, like, bro, like, this is so crazy, bro. Why would he do this? Obviously, he needed the money, right? I can already see a lot of people being like, "Damn, bro, why, why would why would he do this? He ruined his whole career. He ruined everything." You know, he got cut from the UFC, so obviously he was desperate. He needed money. But then people are going to be like, oh, why didn't he go to Bellator or something like that and keep making money? There's never no reason. To, there's never a reason to get do burglary. I don't I don't care what anyone says. You can always get some nine to five job and work like the rest of us. You, you know, breaking into someone's house and stealing $200,000 worth of their shit, jewelry, et cetera, is unacceptable. It's just, you know what I mean? I think stealing in general is, is wrong. You know, I just, it's fucked up, bro. It's like just a fucked up situation. Um, I just don't see how he can possibly beat all those charges, bro. Those charges are serious charges. Like, those are some crazy charges, bro. Each one of those charges, like the gun charge, the burglary charge, the, crack, the substance, the controlled substance charge, those are all felonies. You know, the gun charge alone could give you years, right? Like, I don't know. Burglary charge, I don't know how, I don't know that, like how many years those gives you, but I know that they'll give each one of those to give you years, right? And like, if he's over here doing a burglary and they got 200k, obviously they don't have money for like a really good lawyer because a really good lawyer will, will run you a couple hundred thousand dollars, right? So obviously I don't think they, I don't think he, ha- he has the money to even get that kind of a lawyer to possibly you know get, get rid of some of the charges or lower the charges or 
he did something else or whatever, you know? He's probably gonna get, like, a public defender or not such a good lawyer, and he's gonna get fucking hit with, with the fucking max years. Bro, he's so fucked. Bro, don't be surprised if he ends up getting, like, a, like, a sh like football numbers, you know? Because I don't think he has enough money to afford a good lawyer. Because if he really had money to afford a good lawyer, he wouldn't be robbing or doing a burglary in the first place. You know what I mean? I, I, it's just crazy, you know? You don't you don't really see too many times UFC fighters doing some shit like this. It's actually pretty rare. But when I first seen this, I was like, holy shit, that is so crazy. Imagine being, you're fighting Marvin Vittori, and then you're fucking doing a robbery the day after Christmas. You know, December 26th. You fought Marvin Vittori, you fought Glover to Shara, and then you thought you're doing a robbery. That's, that's so crazy, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I don't even know what to say. Like, bro, like, I don't know. I, I think he's completely fucked. The other person that's also involved is fucked. Apparently, they have to have a shitload of evidence. And plus, they have the warrant for the car. It's not even more shit. So, initially, it was just going to be the burglary. But then they found the gun, the crack cocaine, whatever. So, that's going to add even more shit. You know what I mean? I don't know, bro. If he was just fighting burglary, it's like, that's still tough. But then when they got the warrant for the car and they found the gun, it's just, it just added even more shit to control substances. Oh, my God. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know. Do you guys think he's screwed? Do you think he'll get out of this somehow? Do you think... How many years do you think this guy is going to get? Like, like, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll respond. You know, remember, 95% of you guys are not subscribed. If you guys please subscribe. It's me, Mr. Casual. Be safe, everybody. And take care. Enjoy your weekend, all right? Take care.